they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clear the All right, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest, J Star Baller. You left with me running the city. Whole lot of hits, so I keep me a fit. And DD is starting out, she'll look mixy. From the start, we are had it, she needed to smoke. It was nice, I had to trap at the park. Turn on Saturday, and she had a bump. No, the fucking vibe. <laughs> so, um, so we gonna do a little icebreaker, get you warmed up. I'm gonna ask the question, just um, answer first thing that comes to mind. What's your sign? Aries. One word to describe you? Pain. Worst song ever? Amaz. No, anybody. Oh, sheesh. Lollipop. <laughs> Lil oh. Wayne. Really? That shit is mad pointless. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Most expensive thing you bought? My watch. What's your favorite song of all time? God Day by J Star Bowler. Okay. Favorite designer brand? Louis Vuitton. Hardest bar you wrote? So much of them. Give us a bar real quick. I'm sticking, I'm sticking, I'm stepping on rock. I'm sorry, that, nah, damn. I, I so crazy. I don't write nothing. So I can't even, like, I have to hear one of my songs for me to be able to even feel me. That's how real it is, you heard? Oh, you be, um, you be freestyling? All the way. Okay. Um, A celebrity DM you slid in. Damn. Damn, I don't even know. Celebrity go crazy. Anyway. Dream though. Okay. Um, last famous person you text. Famous person, Didi Osama. <laughs> okay. Favorite album of all time? The Carter Three. Okay. One okay, best thing about Harlem. Sugar Hill. Worst rapper ever. <laughs> oh shit. MC Hammer. Okay. <laughs> An artist that's overhyped. Damn. Hey, my. 21 Savage. Okay. And what Talk of the Town Award should you be nominated for this year? The top stickulator of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So for the people that don't know, I guess, tell us where you from. I'm from Sugar Hill. Okay. Harlem. Okay. And what was it like growing up over there? Regular shit that goes on the streets. Niggas had a rough. Niggas made a way, though. Okay. And so how you got into the music? Um, <clears throat> I always fuck with the music back and forth and shit. I never took it serious until, until, I f like one day I was like, "Oh fuck it, I'm tired of going to the studio." To me, I'ma just cop some equipment. Me and the bros, we grab some equipment and shit from online. Mm -hmm. Just made a little studio in my room and shit, and then it, it shit went up after that. Like we was just stuck on that shit, like just recording myself and shit. Okay. Like Making tunes and shit, you know the vibe. All right, so when around when was this? Um, I say like 2019. Yeah, like the ending of 2018, 2019. That's when niggas really. That's when I really took the serious on some, on some serious, serious shit. Okay, so when you was getting the equipment, you was learning how to engineer. You was collecting beats, like. What yeah, like. <clears throat> my man's my man's knew how to engineer already, mm -hmm. but um. I just picked it up from him and shit, just watching him and shit. Okay. Watching him and fuck with this shit. Like, yo, bro, how you do this? How you do that? Mm -hmm. Shout out to my, shout out to bro, my son of Maori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. I, mean, I just picked it up from bro. After that, I just started recording myself, started recording the bros. Huh? Okay. So you recorded some of your friends before? Yeah, that's a fact. Okay. I recorded some of my son, my son Jaja, my son Toon B. Okay. My son Bando. Nigga, it's so crazy. There's so many names, bro, like that. Niggas, I ain't mm, talking too much, but niggas really. Like they come in, they about to drop, or what? 
A couple. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Are they dropping? I like, got a couple of the bros dropping some shit real soon. Okay. I mean, Yogi B about to drop. I mean, Two and B about to drop. A couple of the bros about to drop. Okay. So from. So you was practicing in the house. So when did you go to like a real studio, like a fishing studio? It was like, nah, I got to get it right. Or you always tried to better your equipment or like what? Well, the, <clears throat> the real reason why I really started my own studio too, for real, is because like um, I was living in PA and shit, mm-hmm. in Allentown, PA. So the studios out there wasn't really up to par and shit, feel me? So mm-hmm. every time, that's why I started coming, started really fucking with the music. I start coming to New York every week. I come to New York I mean, every single week and shit. But, like, I started coming to the New York studios. That's when I was like, oh, yeah. They had this, fire this sound, shit. This sounds fire. This is the sound I've been, I've been looking for, feel mm-hmm. me? Okay. So then, so so you was coming here. You was recording at other studios. Then you ended up investing in your own equipment. So that was all, like, research on your own, basically? Yeah, you know, the bros was in tune and shit. You know, I'm from the hill and shit. So the bros been doing... I always got bros that do music and shit, you feel me? So the bros always been in tune and shit with the studios and shit. So I was just, it just fell right in there. Okay. And your rap name, how'd you come with that? Or that's what people been calling you or what? I mean, J-Star. Yeah. J- <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I mean, J-Star came from, I, 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 I used to get light and shit. I okay. used to dance and shit. Okay. So everybody's in J-Star. I mean, J-Star, J-9. Yeah. So I just ran. I just ran with that. I think shit. everybody from New York was dancing at one point in time. Gangsta, like I was, just, I just, I just stuck to that. I just stuck to that, and then like, you feel me? You know, the gang like. And Bola came later. Yeah, both. Yeah, the Bola came later. Okay. And so, what's your relationship with Didi and Nadi? Those are my little brothers. So like blood, like our family. Yeah, we got the same mother. Okay. All right, and like, so you wanted them to start rapping, or how did that start? It's crazy because. They ain't really like Didi ain't really <clears throat> Didi ain't really really never really wanted to take it on some some crazy crazy serious shit. It was really like naughty on some naughty mm-hmm. always follow me around trying to trying to beg my mom go to PA mm-hmm. and shit like that. Yo, I want to go over there. I want to go record with J Star. I want to record with J Star. Mm-hmm. Pull up and shit. You feel me? I used to record him and shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like and as a Didi was like, oh nah, hold on, this shit that shit sound fire. Like hold mm-hmm. on, like, my son Didi hopped on and shit niggas. He was just cooking up and shit, you know, cooking up. I was molding on the beat there, you know, greatness. Okay, so you they was recording their first songs with you? Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Okay, cool. So I guess when seeing them go to other studios now, are you still, like, adding your input or are you being more supportive? Like, how is that now? Yeah, I'm there for everything. I'm there for all the studio sessions, everything. Everything I go on with Didi, I'm there, you feel me? And get into music. Was you worried about them getting into music, being like, you know how New York is? But I don't think it was that bad around that time, though. It wasn't as crazy as it is now. I mean, when they, when I heard Naughty start start the start really taking this shit on some, he really wanted to do this shit. I'm like, oh man, you know, mm-hmm. I, you know, I had that, you know, I had the big bro sit down, yo, bro, you know, this shit's serious, bro. Like, okay, so y'all had that talk already? Absolutely. Like, it's okay. my little brother, so you know, I had to. So now you know this shit is this shit serious, bro. You know the streets ain't nothing to play with you, heard? Like, you know, he told me he understood everything. I'm like, yo, bro, you're not at the end of the day, you only growing up. You're not gonna get no smaller. I gotta I can't be that I never wanted to be that annoying big brother, you feel me? Yeah, so yeah. they don't even wanna chop it up with me. Yeah, but you was there every step of the way though, so that was always good. So what happened when you I guess got the news or when did you hear about it or I was in PA. Okay. Um my son Owa Corn, <clears throat> I guess, I guess my son Corn was with him couple, couple like couple hours before. Mm-hmm. My son Corn called me, and like, little star. I think something happened. Um, something happened to Naughty and shit. So you know, that nigga, <laughs> shout out, shout out my son Corn. Free, free to remember, like mm-hmm. my son a goofball. Like so, I was like, yo, bro, stop playing with me, bro. Stop, I'll break you up, bro. Stop playing with me, like. Yeah. He like, nah, bro, gangster, bro. He, I, I hear in his voice though. He like, he tearing up and shit. So I'm like, yo, bro, like, you playing with me right now? Like, he like, yo, star, I, I, he banging on me. Call him back. He not answering. I call my moms and shit. Yo, shut up, yo, mom. Yo, make sure I, ain't, yo, make sure everything's situated, bro. I heard some shit just now, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not out there for me. I can't get out there. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I don't want to live in PA. Like, I'm an hour and thirty minutes away. So, mm-hmm. I rushed out here right away. 
Mm-hmm. And then, um, so do you feel like, do you want to move to New York, being that you could be closer to your family, or do you feel like you being... I'm currently, no, I'm, I'm currently in New York. Okay. But I'm saying, like, but that was, like, more of a reason making you want to come back, right? Absolutely. But you also, do you feel like you also want to keep a situation out there just for them to get away sometimes? Like, what of do you course. think? So you'll be coming back and forth for sure. Yeah. So are you signed, though? No, I'm not signed. Okay, because y'all was celebrating like you had got signed, too. So I was like, what's nah, going nah, on? Nah, I ain't get signed. I ain't get signed. But it's still a good feeling. I know feeling. everybody probably asks. I ain't get signed. I ain't get signed. My son Didi got signed. All right, cool. But it's still a good feeling. feeling. Yeah, that's a fact. I'm right yeah. there every step of the way. Everything is situated. You're, yeah. They definitely watching. Though. They definitely... <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely watching. So, um, so how was it? I guess I know labels probably been calling y'all, been yeah, reaching out. Yeah, yeah, they've been they've been on it for real. Um, and nigga just felt a little more secure, little, little felt a little more safe, mm-hmm. a little more secure with Alamo. Uh huh. That's cool. So, are you looking at that label? Are you open to whatever? Do you want to sign a deal? Um, right now I'm just chilling for real. Like, um, whatever comes my way, if it's if it's for me, if it's life changing, for me, if I feel like it's for the better, I fuck around. I ain't, but I'm just chilling. Like this car is just, just chilling because y'all like, traveling, y'all nah, doing shit. Be, yeah, as long as I'm just working, like we just working. This old before this, old, everything I'm doing now is before the deal. Like mm-hmm. so, I ain't really dwelling on the deal. Like you feel me? Yeah. If that shit come, that shit come. That's pain. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But if not, that shit ain't about nothing. Like I'm just chilling. Like I'm working. Like you know. Okay. Yeah, but you also, you you dropping too. Absolutely. I just dropped. God damn, you know the vibe. Yes, you got a little Jersey Club vibe on there. Yeah, facts. So, like, you fucking with the whole Jersey sound right now? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit fire. I ain't gonna lie. I'm jacking out. I'm jacking the little switch up and shit. You feel me? I'm (laughs) switching it up, though. Like, they just be straight on Jersey time about. So, you've been hearing that sound because you was in Philly, right? Um, Yeah, PA. Yeah. Or PA. Philly be heavy on that shit. Yeah, heavy on that shit. Where I'm at in PA. We just got our, he's like our own little world out there. You feel okay. Me? But you probably was hearing it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. But it, it started spreading down here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so like I said, y'all be traveling and stuff. So, how was it like linking with Drake and y'all play ball and stuff? Oh, man. <laughs> what happened? First of all, how did the call happen? How did y'all know Drake hit y'all? Because Drake in tune with all the New York people. So, so um, shout out my son, Brooklyn Johnny. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Didi was supposed to go to Miami. We 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 had already. Didi was already supposed to go to Miami, and um, me and D Dot was like, "Oh fuck, it, we gonna tag, we gonna pull, we gonna pull up and shit." Mm-hmm. And um, my bro Ra Young, he um, he D Dot, he like you know he like kind of my manager, um, D Dot yeah. manager mm-hmm. and shit. Feel me? So like, um, he really, really made the link because Brooklyn Johnny, Brooklyn Johnny linked us through 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 raw and shit, mm-hmm. and niggas linked up out there and made a movie. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. like. And then when um Drake, I think it was like his album release party or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, niggas just said, "Yo, tell Didi and I'm to pull up." So when we pulled up to the spot. My son embraced us with mad love and shit. Yeah, like what happened? Shout like, out to Drizzy, yeah. like we walked in a spot. Yeah, like how did they welcome y'all? Like what was it? What was the vibes? I forgot what spot it was, but we in Miami. Uh huh. So they start walking us in and shit. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Johnny come to the door. Boom. I think it was um Charles who walked to the door. He came to get us. We went to the back. We see Twenty One Savage. <laughs> the first pre- first person I saw was Twenty One. I'm like, nah, what the fuck. This nigga 21, no, this nigga just right here. Like, I'm like, well, all right, say no more. You know what I mean? It's letting here. So y'all didn't know Drake was there. Y'all just going there. Nah, we knew Drake was there. We just, Drake was nowhere in sight at okay. first. Mm-hmm. It was a full-blown party. You see party next door. Okay. Everybody's there. We lit. You see all the connect. You see all, all the OVO niggas and shit. It's mm-hmm. lit. You see, and then Drizzy just came out and shit. He pulled up. And then, um... You know, he gave Didi a hug and shit. He gave okay. Didi a hug. He gave me a dap and shit. And then he was like, yo, y'all need anything and shit? You know, it was great vibes. Like, shout out to Drake. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the next day, niggas played ball with him and shit. Niggas, niggas opened the Miami Heat Stadium. Stadium, yeah. I saw y'all. Like, like, I think the Miami Heats was out of state or some funny shit like uh-huh. that. They opened the stadium for us. 
I, I felt like I was in playing a 2K, no lie. Like, they brung us into the <laughs> back and shit. And my my career, my career, <laughs> coming out the tour bus, that shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Drake, word. Okay. All right. So, um, any other, like, celebrities was hitting y'all and stuff? I know after that, probably got crazy. Um, To be honest, um, Didi will be, I mean, like. I mean, hitting you. I'm not into, like. No, this, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, to be honest, I'm in tune. Well, with, with a lot of you feel me like with everybody for real, but as far as like you mean like specific ce- like celebrity celebrities, nah, nobody on. Or celebrity. just people commenting, sharing y'all music, k- tapping in, like playing y'all shit. Yeah, Anything. a lot of a lot of producers start start tapping in. A lot of like people we met in Miami start tapping in for sure and shit. Yeah. Okay. So um, so how does your family feel about like you doing music? I mean, for my mom's, it's a little yeah. overwhelming and shit. Yeah. Because we just lost a brother and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. She, she she learned that. She, like, she accepting it. Okay. You know, just trying to make something positive out of something negative. Okay. Out of something tragic, you feel me? So what, like, motivates you to, like, keep going and keep doing it and stick through? I ain't going to lie. My little brother really wanted to make it with this shit. Mm-hmm. Like that was his biggest shit, you feel me? You know, always like it's always to talk about and just making it like I was feel I was gonna go up till that till that shit happen, feel me? But um mentally though, you feel like you're okay? I mean naughty happened and also like we lost E dot this year too. That was crazy. That was crazy, bro, like So, um, I know we had a show that day, I guess when the news had happened. And I see everybody leave. So, like, when did, I guess, how was you feeling about that whole situation? I mean, like, we was at the show. We was in, we was in Jersey, I think. I think it was in Clifton, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. We was at the show and shit. And after the show, niggas found out. You know, I was stuck. Like, like I felt, <clears throat> I felt numb to the, I felt a little numb to this shit. Like, damn, like, four months ago, like, we just lost Naughty four months ago. I felt like, damn, like, like Eda really the Eda really the the, the soul to this shit for real. Like, mm-hmm. my son really started all this shit for real. You feel me? So it was yeah. like, that should really hurt. Like, you feel me? yeah, that that's that's a fact. Do you feel like people wait like too late to like start being supportive? That people. shit happens all the time. Like, I should. That's the way life is, for real. Like, that's how I feel about that. Like, but yeah, like, in a way, hell yeah. So, do you feel like it's, like, pressure on y'all to be, like, strong and, like, keep pushing through? Because fans be saying stuff and blogs be posting shit and you got a shot of still, feel me? Like, y'all still in the grieving process, basically. So, like, do you feel like it's a lot of pressure on y'all to, like, stay strong and keep pushing? Every single day. This shit a little, this shit a little crazy. It is a lot of pressure, man. Cause I feel like everybody always, everybody's always expecting us to win, win, win. But niggas be going through shit like mm-hmm. niggas. It be real life shit going on, like apart from this music shit. Feel me? But we just gotta deal with that shit though. That's how I feel about that shit. But on the music tip though. You traveling and stuff like that. I guess who would you say like influence your sound because you don't really sound like them. You got like you could you could switch your vibes up. I see you do the drill shit, then I heard the little Jersey Club shit. So like, who influenced your sound? Um, to be honest, I really don't. I I I got really like. I don't want you to think I'm lying. Like I don't really <laughs> don't. I really can't name nobody at the top of my head that influenced how I sound for real. Like you feel me? I could definitely name some of my local, some of my local favorite like rappers and shit. Like yeah, like who's I definitely listening fuck to? with my son Shawnee for real. Shawnee, yeah, I fuck, I fuck with Shawnee. You feel me? I fuck with. I Even fuck like growing up, who you was listening to? Like who was, who was they playing? Like who was who was on your playlist back in the day? Who's my on your playlist now? To be honest. I was listening to Jada Kiss, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. My son be talking that talk, like. Okay. I was listening to like 50 Cent and shit like that. Okay. I mean, 
Lil Wayne and shit. Lil Wayne's a problem. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Certain songs be blowing minds, but I ain't gonna lie. My song goes crazy. Like. <laughs> nah, Lil Wayne's a goat. So do you, do you like, try to focus on lyrics more? Do you want to tell a story in your music? Like, what would what, be your goal, like, with certain songs, I guess? Because God did you telling a story, but you still get to the little party vibe, and then it some songs is like... It depends on the beat, like, because the God <laughs> there was, like, a smooth, laid-back vibe. Yeah. But when that shit, when my son... Shout out Lil Nah, too, like, mm-hmm. Lil Nah, that's my producer. He goes crazy, like, when he turned that switch on, that shit, like, it's like he know how to activate me, you know, cap, like, no freaky, like, my son go, like, feel me? It was a calm vibe, but once he turned that jersey, you know, it's like, now nah, hold on, we got to get crazy, like... <laughs> so I was like, I got to turn up. Okay. All right. And what's the vibe? Like, what be the vibes in the studio? Like, walk us through a studio session with J-Star. Um, I ain't going to lie. We be sticking. <laughs> <laughs> Define sticking. Like, what that mean for the people that don't know? Sticking is whatever you want it to be for real. Come on, come on. I'm doing that. Like, <laughs> like, I describe sticking. Like, right now, this this Migos got me sticking right now. So it got yeah. you active, turned up. like. And, like, if a person acting crazy... I ain't gonna lie, you sticking right now, bro. So doing too much, they bugging. So it could mean different things. Yeah, it could really mean whatever. Me and the members, you feel me? Me and the members. It could mean whatever you want for real. Like, and it's on. It's really one of those. If you know, you know. Yeah. Like, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all definitely be like really having y'all own movement for real. I feel like the shows be crazy. Movie. Shows be crazy. Have you had any like crazy fan interaction yet? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the story. Tell us the story. So uh I think it was Connecticut. We mm-hmm. went to C T and we go to the we go to the to the back backstage and shit. After the show, we just we all we all sweaty, we all drenched up. Mm-hmm. And we keep hearing somebody out. We keep hearing people out the window. It's like a mosh pit out one of the side windows. So I, it's mad hot. So I just peek my head out, not knowing that it's a thousand fans outside. <laughs> and I just peek my head out to catch some air. And there's, and there's literally a mom, like somebody's mother, yeah. with a whole tray of pizza. <laughs> Of Elio's, it looked like Elio's pizza, okay. mad pizza. You're like, J-Star, I want to give you this. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> niggas is hungry? I'm like, yo, niggas is hungry? They're like, fact. Yo. <laughs> I, I so literally, t- the I, no, I literally, no, but we was like on the third floor. I literally told my security to bring her upstairs. She came upstairs and like, she was like, I want to, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it'd be like, cause that I know that's probably crazy, cause it'd be moms, it'd be kids, it'd be yeah. little kids, it'd be grown kids, it'd yeah, be like, it'd be everybody. yeah. So how how are you dealing with all of that now? Cause I know you can't go to certain, but you gotta wear a ski mask up everywhere now. Like, I mean, that should be, that should be. I ain't gonna lie, that shit fire. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. It's fire until that shit get a little, until it get a little overwhelming. You feel me? A little like now, nah, hold on, this shit a little go crazy. All right, boom. So. So how yeah how do you how can you tell when somebody's like really being supportive of y'all or people just looking for clout? Um, I can't really. Oh, Fripp, I know everybody who's around me. Mm-hmm. Like I know literally everybody who's around me. You can't come around me if I don't know you or if one of my man's man's don't know you. Can't even come around. So if 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 you're looking for clout, you could you know you could probably come to a little function. On some once in a while shit, mm-hmm. if, if that's the agenda. But I'ma know, like my niggas, my niggas are, is already sanctioned. Like I know who my niggas is already, so everything is already, everything. I know who's genuine. I know who's not. Okay. And like, how did you? I guess how if someone is like doing too much, how do you like decipher like when they doing too much? Like when is it time for a nigga to lead a circle? Basically. I'ma tell a nigga. <laughs> I'ma tell a nigga. I'm going to definitely warn a nigga because mm-hmm. I always believe in second chances, you feel me? Okay. I never really got a lot of second a, a lot of chances for me, so I believe in you, feel me? I ain't going to tell you, bro, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I, I don't like the way this is going on. And if I feel like you playing with me, 
Like, not even on some trying to be tough shit. You feel me? I feel like you're playing on some. We had this talk, bro. Yeah. And you feel like we, after the talk, you, after that, you got to be playing with me. Right. So you got to get caught off. Okay. Okay. Definitely. So, like, so how do you feel about, like, blogs right now? Yo, please don't lack. Suck my dick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where am I dead? When I catch, I'm gonna break your fucking neck. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but like, but like overall though, do you feel like like everybody else? I'm jacking. Okay, what makes you say that though? Like they just they just be capturing like they just be trying to post the most like the most uh, like I don't know every other blog page be posting positive shit. Mm-hmm. They be posting bad shit too, but it seems like please don't like just be trying to really catch a motherfucker lacking like. For whatever. Motherfuckers posting my moms. Like, these motherfuckers is crazy, bro. Like niggas just wild. Yeah, that's only crazy. I was I was saying it more so on the sense that like, you know, like everybody's like everybody be just trying to drop diss tracks now. So like, you know, like people will post that and then post y'all, like, or do you feel like that's kinda their job or what do you think? I don't really pay attention to the blog like that. Okay. That's good though. Gotta keep your mind at peace. Shit, fuck it. If you don't want to see that, you don't gotta see that. I barely be on the gram for real. Okay. Okay. Yes. So like, even fans too, cause y'all be all on TikTok. Like fans even, after the show though, after the shows, y'all be trending on TikTok for like five days. No cap. But I don't even. It's so <laughs> crazy. I don't know how I got forty thousand followers on TikTok. I never used it. Like I don't even use it. You never that posted shit. a video? Nah, I did. I do be posting, but I literally just post like, and like then you off my that? like I post my music videos. Like like you feel me? Like yeah. the little snippets of my music videos. Mm-hmm. I don't ever post like me actually doing shit. Yeah. And my shit like forty K I don't know from I like, know, cause y'all be trending K. on TikTok after the show. A TikTok be be like, I went to Didi and I'm show sure. and it be all y'all <laughs> It be all yeah, that shit, man. Cool. So um, so so people in New York tend to always argue about oh, who's the king of New York and who got it in New York. What do you have to say? <laughs> How do you feel about that whole conversation? So oh, man, whoever want to hold that crown, man, niggas gonna have to earn that shit, man. Okay. That crown, that's a, that, that's a different type of crown right there, right? Mm-hmm. King of New York is crazy. Okay. So you feel like we don't have one, or they just not working for it, or what do you think? I don't feel like we got a King of New York right now. Okay. And, like, um, because people ain't do enough, or because there's so much artists here, you can't really pick one? Like, what do you think? The second, the second thing you said is way too much... Way too much talent. Mm. How you gonna be able to say one person in King of New York and the next person probably got some shit that's way better? Right. That don't make no sense. Right. So, so yeah, it doesn't really have one of those. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. So, I guess. So, what keeps you grinding? So, are we getting a project this year? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah, I'm definitely getting. I definitely gain the project. Project? Got a title? Nah, I only got a title. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to name a title. I was trying to call the <laughs> title last minute. Like, nah, I don't got a title for y'all. But I before the year ends, maybe next year, top of next year, like, what, how you feeling? Nah, before, I ain't going to lie. The year about to end in a few. In a few. The year about to end in a, in a, in a, in a few days, so yeah. I, I can't promise. In a month the year and some end, change. Definitely a month some change too much for now. Definitely, I definitely expect a little, a little EP. Okay. A little now song EP, some shit like that. Okay. And doing collabs lately, you got any sneaky features in the cut? Like, what's going on? Um, I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, but you working on features? Definitely. Okay. So you might be seeing something soon? Absolutely. Go pop outs. Okay, good pop outs. Okay, so traveling. So, where has been, I guess, the latest state y'all traveled to so far? I ain't gonna lie. Jersey shoulders, my love. Okay. I did. This nigga Didi crowd surfed, then they caught him. 
Yeah, I was <laughs> that there. That was a movie. That shit was crazy. Didi and D-Rock really jumped in the crowd. They caught them little niggas. That shit was fire. Yeah. Shit. One day I'm going to catch my eyes. <laughs> real soon, real soon. Like, it's still <laughs> early. <laughs> it's still nah, But crazy. New Jersey, you feel like was the craziest? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Jersey was turned out. I fucked with CT, too. Okay. CT was fire. We got a show coming up, too. Mm-hmm. And, and December 10th in okay. Redding, Pennsylvania. Okay. So you going to see what Philly like? I what Pennsylvania like? Yeah, Redding, Redding, Pennsylvania is going to be a movie. Okay. December 10th, fire. So how are you getting prepared for shows? Like, do you be rehearsing? Do you be, like, yeah, um, mentally? Yeah, we got rehearsals. Um, We got rehearsals before the show and shit. Mm-hmm. We just, yeah. You just pick what songs you want to do. Just go, you know, just rehearse them shit. When it's time, it's time. <laughs> when it's time to shine, it's time to shine. Okay, was you ever nervous, like, going on stage? When nah, before? nah. I so you know. always was ready? I don't know. Yeah, I'll be around the members in the studio. It's the same shit. It's a couple, you know. I mean, sort of kind. And I feel like if they come into the show, it's because they love you already, right? Right. That's how. That's how I look at it. Right. And then y'all been sold out like back to everything sold out. Sold out shows. So the first, so you performed at the first show with Eda, right? When I was in Brooklyn. I performed at every show. Every show, right? So like, um, did did you? How did you see? I guess y'all fans growing because you went from Brooklyn to Jersey. Now you're going upstate. Like, how do, how do you see, like, growing? Like, is it more people now? It's is it more hit-ups now? Shout out to the youth, man. Like, Yeah, y'all got to tell love to the kids. Y'all got to do something for Christmas. Like, what's tea? Shout out to the kids, bro, because the kids really be showing mad love. Like, it's definitely been, like, a little... It's definitely been an evolution, like a evolution of, of the shows. Cause yeah, because they've been moving. From the first show... Yeah, well, the first show I think it was like a hundred, like two hundred, like two hundred people. Mm-hmm. And the last show was almost a thousand people. You feel me? Yeah. And it's just growing. Every show is just the capacity of of the other places we we getting booked for. Yeah, it's just getting bigger. getting bigger and bigger. So right. this shit is crazy. Yeah. And then you was also you went to Rolling Loud. Oh my the god. The Capitol. That shit was fire. Yeah, but yeah, y- we opened up for um for Nook. Mm-hmm. Shit was a movie. Yeah, so people already have already knew the songs from even from Rolling Loud too, right? Yeah. So yeah. then I see Didi got booked for LA this year. Yep. So you gonna be performing on that stage, or we gotta wait to see, or like what's up? Damn, <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> Just know okay. we going to go crazy. Okay. Movie Rolling Loud California. <laughs> up. Okay, okay. So um. So yeah, so what's next for you? We got Rolling Loud, Cali. All these shows, we just booked, we booked. Yeah, I was like, how are you feeling right now? Booked and busy. We got Boston, we got PA, we got all these shows. We just busy studio time, mm-hmm. just literally working. You know, we just doing these fire studio, these fire interviews like this. You feel me? Okay, appreciate. Thank you for having me. Right. Yeah, it was about time. I feel like you definitely gotta like tell your story and tell let us know like what's going on. Like right. Yeah, so it's glad to see you talking and doing interviews and stuff. Man. Yeah. But how are you like mentally? Like y'all booked and busy. Y'all keep moving, y'all keep grinding. Then you still working on music too. Do you think you, you wanna start a label? You think you wanna sign more kids? Cause the youth is fucking with y'all right now. Yeah, I'm a definitely <clears throat> I really um I'm gonna start working on my artists. Okay. I got a couple artists. Oh, you do got artists already. Yeah, I okay, got a bet. couple artists. I'm gonna start working on my artists. Okay. And just build, build literally. Keep try to keep everything in house. Build, just go up. We ain't got a lot of got a lot of artists. That's that's tough. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, show the world. The world gotta see them. Gotta see what they talking about. All right, so do you like, so I guess when it comes to business, who's, I guess, like a good business person to you that you, I guess, look up to? or Who does good business, you think? Um, I ain't going to lie, Mama Love. Mama Love always always been business-orientated. Mm-hmm. She's always into business, always always have her own businesses, yeah. opening salons and shit like that, mm-hmm. doing mad shit. And my step-pops, too, my step-pops, my step-pops good. Go with business too. He go with numbers uh-huh. and shit. You feel me? How how mm-hmm. he like to say? <laughs> but like, yeah. 
Okay. My parents for real. Okay. And then um, do you feel like you're gonna prioritize music more or you wanna get more into the business side of the music industry? What do you think? Cause um, it seemed like you do a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, that's literally exactly what it is. I'm just like whatever's the task at hand. Okay. That's how I feel about it. Okay. I feel a lot of business that controls my way. You know, business controls your way, you gotta handle it. Right. Feel me, but for the most part, I just be on my I definitely be on my music shit. You feel me? Okay. I mean, I'd be in the stool with the bros cooking up. Feel me? Okay. Chilling, you know. So if you didn't, if you didn't do music, what do you think you would have did? I would have definitely started my own label. Okay. Hell yeah. You know I mean? Okay. I'm gonna start my own label though. For sure. Yeah, that's a fact. Like 100. Yeah. percent It's just you feel me. In time with in time do. In time do okay. And then, like, I guess, what, like, how do you know, I guess, when a person is a star? Because I got a different type of ear. I was say, because you saw your brothers were stars from when they first started. So I got like, a different type of ear. Is it is 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 it is it ear? And you got a surf. You got a certain distinctive, it like personality persona. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it, like you got to have a. There's a certain charisma. You gotta have to be a star. There's a certain, there's a certain hunger. You gotta have to be a star. Okay. You could be a R. You could be a rapper. Everybody could just be a rapper. You could just wake up and be a rapper. Yeah. To be a star, that shit get you know. You gotta have a certain type of ain't like okay. man, that nigga's a star right there. Okay. Like when I knew Naughty and Didi was stars. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? When they just there's a certain thing about people you know. Like I know my niggas, I know certain of my niggas are stars. I knew Eat Out when Eat Out and Ben knew Eat Out. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. I knew when Eat Out, rest in peace. I knew he was a star. Like, feel me? Move, shot, free move. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Free my son Keem. Free my son Kwon. Yeah. I knew Keem was a star. Feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so really, just certain aura, certain energy, just certain stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, and then, like, all of y'all, I guess, from the hill got, like, lit. Probably, like, kind of, not at the same time, but because Eda was in it and mm-hmm. Kim in it. So, like, it seemed like Sugar Hill got a lot of artists that right. that's stars. So, like, so like um, I guess, do y'all be, like, helping each other? Like, how do you feel like the support system is out there? Nah, yeah, we really, we, we, we really a family for real. I ain't gonna lie. That shit mm-hmm. really, the hill, the hill, the hill really feel like. That shit really family vibes. That shit really feel like niggas being heavy on, heavy on to help one one hand wash the other vibes. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like we in the studio, and and I just booked three hours, and I know bro, I know bro been beasting to record that song that that he wrote. <laughs> that he and, telling and, everybody on the block. And he telling everybody on the block about and and I got I just booked three hours. I'm gonna try to finish my song. And in in them two hours, so he could try to squeeze that that little song in in, in, mm-hmm. in that extra hour. You feel me? Yeah. You'd be surprised a lot of hits been made like that. Yeah. You know I mean, like, okay, so you got an example? Give us a story of one. A hit I ain't that gonna was lie, made like, that like that. I got an example, <laughs> gangster. We in Pennsylvania. Uh huh. We in Steel City Studios. And my son, I mean, I I had just recorded a song called "What's the Vibes." You feel me? And my 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 producer was making a beat. So Keem, Keem sleeping. He slumped out. He all the way in PA. <laughs> he wake up. He like, yo, Star, what the fuck? Where I'm at, bro, bro? I say, yo, bro, we over there in the stool, bro. What the fuck you talking about, bro? You know we was coming to PA, bro. He like, oh, shit. He like, yo, bro, how much time we got left? I like, yo, bro, we got like 20 minutes left. So he like, yo, bro, I could cook up real quick. He literally just woke up. <laughs> nigga just woke up, snoring, drew and all. I'm like, yo, bro. I say, bro, we got 20 minutes left. What you about to do with 20 minutes? He like, yo, bro, watch this, bro, please. Okay. So a producer, he like, yo, nah, bro. I want to, you know, you know, producer, he already knew. He 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 had already heard from about King. So he wanted to do a beat for King. Okay. So I'm like, yo, bro, we got 20 minutes left. <laughs> He like, yo, bro, I could make a beat. Yo, think of something that's mad New Yorkish. That the first thing comes to your head is New York when you when you hear it. So nigga said the ice cream, nigga said the ice cream truck. Oh wow. So I'm like, what? What the fuck you mean the ice cream truck? Nigga, the ice cream nigga, nigga cooked the beat up in 10 minutes. Yo, this nigga King recorded that song in 10 minutes. Da-da. 10 minutes. 
He okay. recorded that ice cream. That ice cream song that went viral. Yeah, that's still viral. That's still viral right now. Uh huh. That boy recorded that song in ten minutes. Yeah. You know he put the words together like, <laughs> ten minutes though. Yeah. Like, you feel me? But that's another example of one hand wash the other. Like it was on some, you know, I could have packed it. You feel me? Yeah. Or 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 he could have just been like, yo, star, we out. Well, we would have got that you song know? later down the line. Y'all would have probably got that song never for real because it was just like it was. Ri- it was an in the moment thing, like the uh-huh. way it played out was like some. Yeah, because the crazy. producer was there at that the time. The producer was there yeah. at the moment. It was on some like that shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and then Didi, no D Dot made the dance. Yeah, D Dot made the. Little so he made the dance song. on purpose, or like what? Like what happened? To be honest, I feel like. Cause it's a TikTok. D-Dot be sticking, so I feel like he really <laughs> just made that. He really was just dancing, geeking, dancing. Nigga just made the dance. Man, that <laughs> shit went viral. That shit went crazy on TikTok. Yeah, that definitely that definitely went crazy on TikTok. Yeah, celebrities doing that shit. That shit no, crazy. yeah, for real. That shit tough. So like, and then they claim that like I guess Cardi was I guess stealing the dance. What do you think? Oh, you think she was showing love? I don't know. What do you think? I don't really know how to talk. I mean, to be honest, she. She definitely didn't make the dance up. No, she wasn't saying she made it up. She did the dance and she was like, this the little dance y'all be doing. Some shit she said on Instagram. Yeah, she gave it that little extra push anyways. I shame that. Shout out to you, Cardi. <laughs> you gave the hill a little more, all right? Yeah. That was that little extra push, but niggas don't really care about if she said this or that. No, like, niggas know the real. Like, if you know, you know. Like, yeah. Duh, duh. Nah, fans was going crazy. Blogs going crazy. Everybody was like, "Yo, she's doing Keem dance." Like they know. Right. Yeah, they knew. Like everybody know for real. Like this, you do this. Yeah. You know that's the move. Look, you know. Yeah. So have you? I'm um, soaking the Keem lately. Hell yeah! I talk to the bros all the time. Okay. I talk to both the twins. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It be home soon though. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. So how do you feel about like, I guess people dissing you off a of clout? <laughs> I mean, yo, it's so crazy at this point. I don't even like. There's so many people we don't know. Mm-hmm. Every it's like mostly everybody we don't know. Niggas don't know these people. Okay. So it's not like it's one is 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 a is a difference. If the people's dissing, it's the people. It's people that we get like people that niggas know. Niggas don't know these people. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really want. I don't. I don't really be trying. Name drop on niggas, give niggas clout and shit, you feel me? But yeah. you know, niggas who made like niggas know niggas who made that dance, like niggas don't even know them niggas for real. At all. Them niggas just fan out. Like, so feel. what happened? Like how did that even start? Like you I don't know? know, I ain't gonna lie, niggas woke up one day. Niggas woke up one day. Niggas got a song. Mommy like just mimicking how my brother died. That shit is crazy. I just feel like niggas ain't have static niggas ain't have static with y'all niggas. Y'all definitely ain't do it. So yeah. it's like, that was weird. But niggas be fed out for real. Like, and remember, I feel like niggas just tried to hold on to something. As soon as, as, soon as niggas start dying out, niggas, start, niggas try to hold on to something for their life. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's what they did for real. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, you being older and they being younger, I feel like, you know, you you got to, like, I guess, not, ch- you got to try to stay out of that stuff, but in the same token, it's like they're still being disrespectful. You know what I mean? Because, like, y'all got to stay out of jail and keep working and shit like that. Niggas could go do some shit and should have go left. So, I guess, how do you, I guess, stay strong and shit like that because people was making jokes about it and shit, so, like. Uh I ain't gonna lie. That goes that goes with what I said. Like I, I we don't know these people, so it's mm-hmm. not like nigga. I, I, it, it can't retaliate. Yeah, you can't sit there and, and pull up to a nigga. Yo, you talking crazy? Oh, I'm pulling up to your crib. Come downstairs. It's like you can, but it's like you don't know them. You don't you know them. them. So it's like what the fuck. Like I, I just I've learned to I've learned to. I've learned the beauty of ignorance. Okay. Lately. Okay. I've mastered that. And that's been keeping you at peace for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then even still, like when every time Didi drop, he goes like trending on YouTube like every time. I know the song with um that child did went trending too, no? Yeah, brother on um, the real brotherly love. 
Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, baby boy, a star. He going crazy right now. My son's trending for real. Yeah. So that's um. So that's good. How was that feeling finding out you was trending? How'd you know? Yo, bro. <laughs> How'd you find out that people told you you just My, looked it up? Like yeah, what? like it's so crazy. My man's. My man's like yo star. He called me like yo star. You trending number seventeen on YouTube right now. I'm like nah, never. He like yeah, go look, bro. I'm like nah, what the fuck? At that point, I'm like, what you mean? Like YouTube, like on YouTube, like for the whole YouTube, like yeah. on number like seventeen on YouTube. He like yeah, nigga. What else does it mean? Like I'm like oh shit, this shit is real. Okay. And then when I seen it hit numbers, I think it was like number six. I was like oh yeah, yeah this shit is crazy. So um, I know that's an accomplishment. Do you guys have any other big accomplishments this year? Um, so far. To be honest, my 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 engagement on my YouTube is going crazy. Crazy. Mm-hmm. On on my own YouTube, feel right. me? Like my shit is like everything is going up. Mm-hmm. My Instagram going up. Everything going up. Yeah, so you almost had 100K on the gram. Yeah. <laughs> Shit going up. So, yeah, so definitely a project soon. Mm-hmm. Rolling out LA, tune in. That's right, the corner. I guess. Tell the people where to find you. Well, any any last thing you want to get off your chest? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> niggas need to stop using the members for clout. I think it's going to catch up. Mm-hmm. I can see what's going on. Everything for Naughty. Everything for eat out, feel me? Flock for wild sky, we going crazy, like, feel me? Mm-hmm. You know the vibes, we had, we, we, we had the talk of the town, man, like. <laughs> talk of the town, rolling out, y'all everywhere, y'all everywhere, YouTube, y'all everywhere. But I guess, tell me where to find you and find the music. Yo, it's your boy J-Star Ball, you can find me everywhere at J-Star Ball, or literally everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Instagram, Facebook. I don't even fuck with my Facebook. I don't even f- use Facebook, bro. Facebook too? Facebook too. <laughs> everything. J-Star, Baller, everything.